hello guys welcome back to the channel we are covering the next set of questions that we have from CVSC 2003 question paper if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe so that you don't miss out any videos which are shared and you can have a complete preparation for your upcoming examinations it's really important for you to stay tuned and stay updated with all the questions that we are solving in these videos so that you are completely prepared बहुत जरूरी है कंप्लीट प्रिपरेशन होना एक भी वीडियो मिस नहीं होनी चाहिए इसलिए सब्सक्राइब रहना भी बहुत जरूरी है इन दिस वीडियो हम सॉल्व करेंगे क्वेश्चन नंबर 21 और क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 फ्रॉम सीबीएसई 2023 अकाउंट्स क्वेश्चन पेपर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव सॉल्व द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव मिस्ड देम आउट डू चेक आउट फ्रॉम द प्लेलिस्ट क्वेश्चन 21 दिस इज अ सम ऑन बैलेंस शीट where you are required to prepare the company balance sheet, a small extract to show the share capital, how it appears, and the notes to accounts. So let's have a look what all information do we have. Sandesh Limited has an authorized capital of rupees 30 lakhs divided into equity shares of rupees 10 each. The company invited applications for issuing 70,000 shares. Applications for 69,000 shares were received. All calls were made and duly received except the first and final call of rupees 2 per share on 3000 shares. These shares were forfeited. But again, there is no information about reissue. Present the share capital in the balance sheet and show the notes to accounts. So what all information do we have here? If you look at the question, we have the authorized capital given 30 lakh divided into equity shares of 10 each that means the number of shares that we have is 3 lakh of 10 each that becomes our authorized capital then we have issued capital 70,000 shares given and applications were received for 69,000 shares this becomes subscribed capital however you have to understand one thing that out of these 3,000 shares were forfeited, so that goes out from here. So this becomes 66,000. And none of these are reissued. So this 3,000 goes as your forfeited shares only. Okay. If any shares were reissued out of this, then that could have been added to 66,000, but that is not the case in this case. Everything is forfeited and remains in the share forfeiture account. Let's have a look at the balance sheet. Have a look at the notes to account first. Share capital, authorized capital, 3 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each, which is 30 lakhs. And you have to show authorized capital. There is marks allotted for that. Issued capital, you have 70,000 shares as issued capital. So that goes here, 70,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 7 lakhs. Again, these are only for information purpose and do a double line below that. Subscribed capital. Under that, we have subscribed and fully paid up because again, the defaulters on which 3000 shares were forfeited, they are already forfeited. So there is nothing outstanding. Everything is subscribed and fully paid up. 66,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, which is 6,60,000. Then you have forfeited shares of rupees 8 each. Now again, if you read the question, you will understand that the final call of rupees 2 per share were not received. That means out of 10, rupees 2 was not received. 8 was received and that goes as your forfeited shares. That's why 3000 into 8, 24,000. So total comes to 684,000 and that goes into your main balance sheet okay share capital note number one and you have the amount let us have a look at the marking scheme for this if you see if you are able to write the main answer you get one mark for that you get one mark for your authorized capital you get one mark for your issued capital and you get 0.5 and 0.5 for each of the amounts under subscribed capital and this one is for for feature 0.5 this is the marking scheme how you will be scored in your answers if you miss out authorized capital i have seen students missing out authorized capital issued capital 
so you end up losing one one mark each for these the next sum is on partnership where we have Sudhir as one of the partner deceased partner and we have the balance sheet given for the partnership firm the old PSR is given 2 is to 2 is to 1 so from the balance sheet what all we will be picking up we have general reserve 1 lakh that is straightforward distributed among the partner we are only required to prepare Sudhir's capital account so by general reserve comes on the credit side so this share which is two fifth two fifth of one lakh is forty thousand we have balance bd the opening capital of sudhir one lakh sixty that is picked up then we have advertisement suspense account from the balance sheet one lakh twenty that is debited to sudhir's capital account and sudhir gets his share here this is a debit so this is the reduction in his capital account by 48,000 which is again two fifth of 1,20,000 all right so now let's scroll down and see the instructions that we have at the bottom so they died on 30th June and the partnership deed provided for the following goodwill of the firm was to be valued at two and a half years purchase of the average profits of the previous four years which were 1,80,000 average profit is already given 180000 if you multiply 5 by 2 which is two and a half years you get goodwill of the firm and to that if you multiply sudhir's share which is two fifth then you get sudhir's share of goodwill so if you look at the working here sudhir's share in goodwill this is what has been done two fifth is sudhir's share 180 into 5 by 2 that gives you firm's goodwill and after multiplying two fifth, you get Sudhir's share of goodwill, which is one lakh eighty thousand. And there is no other share mentioned in the question about the new PSR for the continuing partner. Then we take that to be sharing in the old ratio itself, which is two is to one for Deepak and Naveen. So they are the gaining partners, gaining in the ratio two is to one. They will be then contributing to Sudhir's goodwill in this ratio of 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1 means 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. So 2 by 3 is 1,20,000 and 1 by 3 is 60,000. And this is what you can see here. Deepak's capital account is debited and Sudhir's capital account is created. So 1,20,000 and Naveen's capital account 60,000. Next one that we have is point number 2. Sudhir's so share of profits and loss till the date of death. Now, this is another interesting one. Was to be calculated on the basis of sales. I've seen students sometimes get confused how to calculate this. So, if you read the question carefully, you will find the information to calculate the share of profit. Sales for the year ended 31st March 22 amounted to rupees 4 lakh and that from 1st april till the date of death which is 30th june for three months the sales is 150 the profit for the year ended 31st march is 1 lakh given so this profit and this sales belong to the same period which is till 31st march 22 so you have to find the proportion of this two first and then apply that proportion on the three months sales to calculate the profit so one lakh profit is made by making a sale of four lakh so that is one lakh by four lakh and which is nothing but the one fourth one fourth means 25 percent so 25 percent is the rate of profit and that same rate you have to apply to one lakh fifty so if you look at the working here one lakh by four lakh that gives us the rate of profit into 150 into Sudhir's share that gives you 15,000 okay so you're required to calculate Sudhir's share that's why 2 by 5 is important to arrive at the final answer directly you will not get much time to do the working so it's important you do it quickly and the third point that we have interest on capital was to be provided at the rate 7% per annum so interest on capital of Sudhir is 1,60 lakh 
into 7 by 10 into 3 by 12. 7 by 10 is the rate of interest, 160 is the capital of Sudhir and 3 by 12 is the number of months that is till the date of death from April till 30th June 3 months that is 2800 and that is also credited to Sudhir. Sudhir's profit 15,000 is credited here to his capital account and PL suspense account is debited. This is one thing you have to remember when you are doing interim profit when the partner is dying during the year and any interim profit that you are calculating that should be debited to profit and loss suspense account and created to the deceased partner's capital account. So we have done all these entries and on the debit side we have done the advertisement suspense. So the balancing figure that comes out is transferred to Sudhir's executor's account. In this case this is 349,800. So this is the sum. Let's understand the marking scheme. Now if you look at this, there are eight entries in the capital account. Two on the two on the debit side and two and six on the credit side. And for each entry that you are making here, there is 0.5 allotted. If every mistake that you do, you lose 0.5. In this case, there is no separate marks allotted to workings. Everything is allotted to your sum here, whatever entries that you are making. So you have to be very careful and ensure that everything is correct. Hope this was helpful. And if this really helped you, hit the like button and share with your friends so that they also understand. If you have any questions, share with me in the comments box below. I will help you out. Stay tuned to this channel so that you don't miss out the future videos. Uh, we have loads of videos coming in for your full preparation of the upcoming final examinations. It's important you stay tuned and watch them. Thanks for watching.